You're watching News 4 with Tom Randles, Tracy Cornett, and forewarned chief meteorologist Lisa Spencer. When it comes to shopping, you're probably always on the lookout for the best deal possible, right? But could some discounted products just be a dud? And could those duds also be harmful? Consumer investigator Lindsey Bramson explains what you need to look for the next time you're trying to score a deal on beauty products. It's all about looking your best. And just about everywhere you go, you can purchase products for your lips, eyes, and face. Makeup, creams, lotions, you name it. All sold at discount stores like TJ Maxx, Ross, and Burlington Coat Factory. I get a little bit of everything here. And for Sherry Parrish, that includes beauty products. Do you ever pay attention to the expiration dates? Not at TJ Maxx, as I've never thought about it. She may want to. Here's why. News 4 investigates found products like these with no expiration date on them inside a Nashville TJ Maxx, an antifungal topical and a serum. But you have no idea when they go bad because the expiration date is blank. We found beauty products here that didn't have an expiration date on them at all. I wouldn't like that, not one bit. And across town at Ross, we found a bottle of St. John's wort that expired two months ago. Is it concerning to see products that expire that are still on the shelves? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it should be looked through just like anything else. And at Burlington Coat Factory, this foot repair cream was still on the shelf, even though it expired in July of last year. Guess when we bought this? J I don't know. Last week. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. I don't recommend ever using a product which is expired. No matter it, what it is. No matter what it is. Nashville dermatologist and plastic there surgeon Brian of... Beisman says it has an expiration date for a reason. And many of these products have ingredients in them that go bad. Most often the issue is going to be the product is just not effective. But there aren't any guarantees that something couldn't be harmful. At every store, we found some variation of a retinol cream sold for a fraction of the price. But many of them didn't have an expiration date on them. And depending on what exactly is in it, it could even be dangerous. So what do the stores have to say about what we found? Ross and Burlington Coat Factory both told News 4 Investigates employees are supposed to monitor and remove expired items. If it's expired, it shouldn't be on the shelf. Remember, we only found products without an expiration date on them at TJ Maxx. Nothing expired when I combed the shelves. Here's the reality. When it comes to beauty products being sold at discount retail shops, there's no telling how long some of them have been on the shelves or where they came from. At the best case, no longer effective. And then that's a ripoff. So just to be clear, I'm not saying you shouldn't buy products from discount retail stores. You just want to look to see when it expires. Many times you can find the expiration dates on the bottom of the boxes. Something else dermatologists recommend, open the box and take a look at it before you buy it. Make sure it not only looks right, but smells right too. For News 4 Investigates, I'm Lindsay Bramson.